you would be amazed at how many people that live in other parts of New York come to Dippus Park and like, oh, the trees are amazing. We call it the brownstone alternative. There aren't many places in Brooklyn where you can walk down the street and you can see all these trees and you can see the open sky and there's all this space. If you put a bunch of hundred year old homes in the middle of Central Park, you would understand how it is to live in Dittmas Park. Dittmas Park is a 2.5 square mile of large freestanding Victorian homes. Every single home is unique. We have Victorian homes, we have Queen Anne's. Greek Revival, Colonial Revival, Tudor. We have a Japanese Tudor house, believe it or not. You name the architectural style, you have it in the Dittmas Park area. Everybody has these beautiful front porches, trees overhanging their beautiful gardens, and people will just sit on their porch, have a cup of coffee. The pride that people put into their houses, it's amazing, and it's, it's totally understandable. These are some really beautiful houses. We do have apartment buildings for people to rent and co-ops for people to live in. There's a great diversity of people, both in race and uh, economic status in the area. The U.S. Census actually called Dittmas Park one of the most diverse neighborhoods in the United States. Walking down Coney Island Avenue is an experience on its own. Coney Island Avenue from Cotelli Road to Forster Ave is Little Pakistan. And then you start seeing all the Jewish-owned businesses. We do have a nice amount of uh, commercial corridors, especially someplace like Cotelli Road. It feels like Main Street, where you have all these different shops from restaurants, bars, specialty gifts and item shops. Even just over the last couple of years, Cortelli Road has seen uh, a lot of new places coming in, newer restaurants, higher-end restaurants. There's wonderful bars like Bar Chord, which plays live music. Sycamore is a flower shop slash bar, and it's amazing. There's so many little, weird, just boutique enough stores. So Dittmas Park is definitely attracting now the young hipsters coming in and the young families and couples. You go to the coffee shops, everybody's sitting there with their cup of coffee, their, their laptop working away. Every now and then we'll walk by this guy's house and he's like, hey hipster, what are you doing in my neighborhood? I'm like, hey, New Yorker, sorry. When, you know, a neighborhood starts to change and more businesses coming in and more money's coming in. You do get crime waves. There was a time when uh, over the course of six months there was a rash of uh, robberies. People in restaurants were targeted. The robbers came in and robbed the restaurant but also all the customers like during dinner time. You know you have to remember you're still living in Brooklyn, you're still in the city. Bad things happen in good areas. But overall, I think it's a fairly safe neighborhood to live in. The B&Q train run right through the center of the Dittmas Park area. You have the Church Avenue station on the north, then you have the Newkirk Avenue on the south. You have a pedestrian shopping mall right in the middle of the station. A lot of people who live here also have cars. We have driveways, we have long, wide open streets, so people are usually able to find parking in a relatively quick time. Also, there's a lot of buses that are great. Uh, like, it's only like a 10 to 15 minute ride to, to Park Slope. So in the turn of the century, this was all farmland. And then in the early 1900s, developers came in, bought the land, and built these luxury suburban freestanding homes. The transportation lines were already in place. The steam railroad was there, which became electric with overhead wires, and by the late teens, and around 1920, became part of the New York City subway system. Half of the neighborhood is landmark, so they can't be altered. These are very large homes with many bedrooms, living rooms, dining rooms. They're big, beautiful homes. The real estate values do go up, especially in, in landmark communities. The apartment houses, some of the apartment houses are co-ops, some are still rentals. Yes, the rentals have gone up, and it's a two-edged sword. It's good on one hand, not so good for the longtime residents who 
have a difficulty maintaining uh, the rentals that are going on. But I would say that it's, it's a good feeling that people want to live here and people want to come here and people want to be a part of what we have. You know, every day is a good day living in Dittmas Park. Where else would you want to live?